Hey, you guys, I'm going to be uh, using my new cards, and hopefully I can give us a message. Oh, oh, wow, I love you for that spirit. What else? A try. Yeah. Oh, and I love it. Said that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. What's in front of my lens and a train? Okay. What is on a Mars? So here's what we got. These are both new decks, you guys, and I believe that you have a trine in your birth chart, two, three, three, and a trine aspect occurs when two planets or points are 120 degrees apart from each other in the birth chart. This major aspect indicates a harmonious, stimulating relationship between the two bodies and brings out creativity, love, and an overall easier time. A trine occurs between celestial bodies that share the same element. For example, if you have your sun sign in Scorpio, a water sign, and your moon sign in Cancer, another water sign, these planets would be considered a water trine to each other. So a trine helps you. So somebody out here has a trine in their Mars, Uranus, Neptune, and Saturn. So Mars is also known as the warrior planet, is the planet of action and determination. Mars is associated with confidence, courage, and ambition in life and governs how we fight with others, how we protect ourselves and those that we care about, our intimate desires, and our aggressive and competitive side. It also represents our carnal passions, sexuality, and lust for life. Mars changes signs approximately every one and a half months, except when they're in retrograde. So you got a trine in your Mars... And Uranus, and sometimes called the Great Awakener, brings the drama. It is associated with unexpected change, innovation, discovery, liberation, and structural transformation, and can cause a lot of upheaval, personally, politically, systematically, and generationally. Uranus likes to stir the pot, so expect the unexpected with this planet. Uranus can also add a quirky, trailblazing, freedom-loving vibe to our charts. Uranus changes zodiac signs approximately every seven years. 420. So, uh, hang on. And then Neptune, and uh, this represents inspiration, dreams, and illusions. Dreams can become reality when Neptune is present, but only if we are honest with ourselves. Neptune can lead us to delude ourselves, and if we are, our goals are not reasonable or clear, we may stumble or falter while we're trying to transform our ideas into reality. Neptune is associated with escapism, drugs, and alcohol, and with tunnel vision and delusion when it comes to matters of love. Neptune changes signs every 14 years. Did you hear that? So it went 714, and then this 
Saturn uh, is considered the father of the cosmos and austere paternal figure. It's associated with discipline and responsibility as it teaches us hard lessons and pushes us toward the right path, whether we like it or not. Saturn helps us learn from previous mistakes as we embark on future projects, encouraging us toward our destiny. Saturn is also associated with our personal karma, holding us accountable for our past decisions and helping us learn from them. Saturn changes signs every 28 to 30 years. So what it's saying to me right now, somebody out here, and I can tell you uh, this pulled out for my energy because I have a trine in, I know I have a trine in Saturn and my Neptune and Uranus. I don't know about Mars, but I need to look. I'm assuming I do. And all them, all it means is when planets are trining, when they're 120 degrees apart, it's helping you. It's simultaneously, and it'll help bring your dreams to life. Trust me. And Claire Cognizant, come out. And do you recognize patterns easily, or do you sometimes know the answer to a problem without knowing how you know it? Maybe when you're doing web searches, you're, you intuit which of the zillions of search results are worth opening. This is Claire Cognizant's clear knowing. That's clearly knowing. And then we have... Claire Augustance, and this less common Claire is particularly delicious. Claire Augustance is when your brain translates the energy patterns you perceive as a taste. So this, the brain translates the energy patterns you perceive as a taste. So this must be a taste, like you can clearly taste energy. <laughs> And you can clearly taste energy when when Mars is around. That's what it's saying because Mars is that fiery sexual energy. And observe a pattern. Make it your new normal to pay attention to the sight, to the size of the wind, the flight paths of the birds, and the whispers of the leaves. They all have a story to tell if you're willing to listen to them. So pay attention to the patterns outside. And what's your why? Why are you interested in unraveling the mysteries of a human being? Why is the mystic appealing to you? Are you using your studies for escape to soothe your curiosity? Will you begin to heal yourself? Guide others to heal? Commune with non-embodied beings? What's your why? And when doing divination, divination, ask the right question. One, write down the first question about your life that comes to mind. Two, edit to make it more specific. Three, ask if it's detailed enough. Four, rewrite the question, getting as granular as possible on the details. Okay? Five element system. In the Chinese five element Wu Zing system, the elements are earth, air, fire, metal, and wood. Each element is an energy that leads to a particular transformation. Look up the five element system and learn more. Somebody needs to look up the five element system today. And the 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 Ayurvedic system. The Ayurvedic system goes in for the full five elements: earth, air, fire, water, and ether, which then combine in various ways to create three basic constitutional types. The Vata, the Pita, and the Kapha. The Vata, Pita, and Kapha. Research and learn your constitutional type. So you need to research the 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 Vedic star system. Yeah, it, you know, and they deal with earth, air, fire, water, and ether, spiritual. That's something somebody might order to actually go by your Vedic sign. Are you listening? And uh, cardinal signs in astrology i think what it's saying is somebody's vedic sign out here is saturn like so maybe you're actually a capricorn you know what i'm saying and or or you could be a, a pisces you know by the vedic sign you just got to go in there and learn it but cardinal signs in astrology these signs are initiators they tend to get things moving and stir things up the cardinal signs is Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, okay? So maybe in the Vedic system, you're an Aries, Cancer, Libra, or Capricorn. I like these little cards, though. Um, so pay attention to what I just said, and you need to look and see if you have a trine in any of these planets up here, and I thank you, Spirit, for showing me, because I know I have this in all of mine, I, I, and probably even Mars, I'm not for sure, but I know I have it in these three. I love you for that, Spirit. I love you for that. And a trine is helpful. 
it's meant to help you. That's that's all that it's meant for, okay, you guys? All right, and uh, let me give you one little message. 10 10. Uh, we're getting ready to receive the vine abundance from the vine. It's, it's all swirling around in ethers. What else, Spirit? Oh, we love you. Oh, I love that Spirit. I do love that Spirit. That's one of my new cards. I love for spitting out Spirit. Oh, okay. I'm just going to leave this a little short message, you guys, because I hear my son out loud. And when you're confused, you'll feel indecision in life. You can't get enough rest. You want to move forward, but you're getting signs to go and to stay, so it's making your energy feel fragmented. It can make you feel lost and pissed off. And so you, uh, this person that is acting innocent, they have a hidden agenda. They're actually pissed off. They're, they're, they're wanting you to, your energy to feel different. And love isn't finding someone you can live with. It's finding someone that you can't live without. That's what love is. Are you listening? That's a new card I made. And this person, it, they can't sleep at night because nightmares from their past keeps coming. Maybe it latched on to them from their old girlfriends or boyfriends that they slept with and they lied to you about. So this person that you can't live without is screwing around with their old girlfriends, it sounds like to me. And they're trying to break in and steal from uh, from you, or it could be your older kids now, and the law has their eyes on these down crooks. And the law saying, please watch, you're getting ready to uh, step into some shit you wish you'd have never stepped in. And they're saying, uh, this person wouldn't even give you the time of day, so stop worrying about them in your mind so you can heal and say, no way, not today, out of my mind. Because this dude... Uh, sexually abuse you as a child and they're going around telling people that you're a liar because that person uh, is in their shadow side right now and they're in denial at the moment and projecting their insecurities of guilt and shame onto you and the person that they did do wrong to this dude that did that to you and you're receiving inspiration and wanting to explore your limitless potential you feel free but put planning into your journey before jumping in head first so, uh, before you jump in head first to this new journey, you need to put planning into action. That's what it's saying, okay? Somebody is watching you now. They want to live with you. That's what it's saying now. That's what it said. Let me get one of these little uh, tarot messages. No tarot message, and this is all I'm doing. Tarot. Okay, so hear what it said. So somebody wants to move towards you slowly. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. It feels like it's never going to happen, but there's money is slowly coming towards you in opportunity. Okay. Or it could be an opportunity of love and money. Uh, and four of wands, ooh, that, they're wanting to bring an offer of marriage to you and money. That's what it's saying. They want to be happy and feel fun and just marry you. 
and they want to give you giant money. See, Ace of Pentacles. They want to give you a opportunity to receive a lot of money, and they want to be only yours. Two of Cups. They they're in love with you, baby. Bye. They want you. Uh, you know, this is a spiritual connection, and they 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 feel it. You're going to receive a message. Feist moving messages coming towards you fast. It could be today from this King of Pentacles or within the month. Oh, it's all Pentacles. Are you paying attention? It's a lot of wealth here in this, uh, it looks like. Oh, and then we got the lovers. Twin flame is your twin flame. Your, your uh, spiritual twin or your twin ray. They love you big and they see you as an angel. Look, that's an angel up here. See her face and her angel wings. And she's watching over this uh, relationship, this love partnership. So, that's what it is, you guys. You're going to see some giant love from your person. They love you so much. And they want to tell you how much they love you, baby. That's what it is. They want to tell you how much they love you so much. You make them feel like a king. Oh, and... They, they want to unconditionally love you, and this is giving and receiving affection. Oh, they want to give you a kiss, baby. They're falling in love with you. Oh, wow, King of Pentacles is falling in love with you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, because you are soulmates. I love spirit. Y'all love spirit as much as me. This is a soul contract that you and him have from long ago, or you and her have from long ago, and, you know, y'all had a partnership you you agreed to do this you you agreed to come back and fulfill this soul contract with one another they love you you're theirs you know and they want to date you they want you to get back out there with them and date them you know plan a set a date with them because they want you play play and it's telling you to take a chance with this person you got to take a risk and you know Maybe this person that wants to date you, they're being strategic at the moment. They're not showing their hand. They're not showing their hand, but they want to date you because they know that y'all got a soul contract and they're, they want to kiss you, baby, because they have unconditional love and you all mirror each other. Twins, you're twins. You know, this is your mirror each other, this self-image relationship, reflect our wounds. You need to go in there and clean up your inside and quit reflecting all that old shit onto each other. That's what it's saying nowadays, you guys. You better listen to me. And you need some amethyst and some tiger's eye and revealing your true self as you allow others to know the real you. You'll feel loved for who you truly are. See, you gotta show the true you now and be self-confident through God confidence. And this is the tiger's eye and believe in yourself by believing in God is working through you. Are you listening? God is working through you with that tiger's eye. And Amatrine, it says, balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. And that's what you're doing, babe. And they see it in your eyes is what it's saying. They see it in your eyes, this glow up, baby. They And love life. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. It's your love life is coming for you, baby. Get you some rose quartz, and I got some. And you know that helps heal your love life. You know that, don't you? Let me give you one of these cards and see when it's coming. And then that's all I'm doing, you guys. When when is this going to happen? When is this going to happen, spirit? It says, you will start all over again in 10 days or 10 weeks. So in 10 days or 10 weeks, something's going to happen, okay? All right, you guys, I hope this helped y'all today. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I thank you, and I hope y'all just go after y'all's goals and dreams, and pay attention now. You got a soulmate out there that loves you big, and they want you, baby. They only want you. And I hope this helps you all, and peace. I'll see you here in a little bit.